saying did you notice that you were shaking did you it was it was slight but it wasn't there hello uh so it's it's a morning that's not sure if it wants to be cold or warm so i don't know what's happening but uh we're finishing up on all the plaster work today i'm super super excited by that um like today we're basically doing all the touch-ups the final finishings those small small things that had been neglected or left or whatever so that's what we're doing okay and then after that it's me okay after that then we do the floors and then it's me and this house <laughs> okay we still have to do the whole um <laughs> you have to buy a tank we have to do the fence we have to do a gate there's still stuff to be done there's still stuff to be done that's for sure yeah yeah I mean, there's a lot to be done but for me i'm like the rest will be done with me here with me in the house i will do it and then i'll be switching on the lights boiling my water and taking a freaking bath and then chilling and editing and then uh, anyway i'm really excited like stuff is really moving along because once they finish so as the fundies as the guys will be working on the floors i'll be finishing up on the exterior we are doing a new kitchen floor this floor was not leveled at all um so when you'd pour water from here it would go down that way which is where you'd have the cabinet so it makes no sense so we wanted to taper off this way if water pours it leans towards the door so towards the exit so that's what we're doing so we're raising it a bit it's going to be the same level as the one and then we'll paint it afterwards so that's what's being done now we've also closed up the two ventilation shafts down there And then we've only left the top ones. Here we need to I need to measure the window for this spot. And then yeah. Uh, but we're not doing all of it right now, so I want this to be done and then the stuff for the living room will move here. This will be left because we haven't removed the stuff in the pantry. So then this will be done slightly later. the video i just wanted to interrupt you and tell you that this part of the video is brought to you courtesy of color creators the home of colors color creators is a shop located in kilimani where i basically go to get my color obsession <laughs> taken care of 
So if you're looking for a normal everyday paint for your home or if you're a bit more eccentric and you're looking to spice up your home using some special effects paints, Color Creators is the spot for you. So head on over to Color Creators and make sure that you get your color obsession or <laughs> non-color obsession taken care of. You do not deserve to be living in a landlord colored house, okay? Even if you like landlord paint, don't worry, they have that as well. Now on with the video. Once I finish upper the base and that edge, that will be done. I want to paint this wall as well. That way, this side, it's only here where the doors will be, right? This portion will be the only one that's left. We're finishing up this one, so this ones will be painted later. And then I can also just paint that car wall. But let's see how, how the afternoon goes. I've just finished painting up there. We built a ladder using scrap wood. I really like that you can see how blue the sky is. But also, can you see that roof? Like, look. Like, see, it's having its moments. It is so pretty and that's what I was saying in the in the last video the roof video that there's like two versions of the color so the last the after bit that you saw in that video was when the roof was wet after so it's been cleaned and it's still it's wet because it was raining so the the color was a bit darker just slightly darker which makes sense because it's like cement right uh, it's tile so of course it will get slightly darker when it's wet but this is how bright it is when it's dry like I really love it I love the way it looks finish on this exterior wax today and tomorrow I want all this the two small small things to be completely done that way now I know I'm cleaning and then get started on the interior and then the only thing that will be left will be uh, building the patio and taking down this wall to do the new doors so I'm, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I wanted to be able to sand the floors, right? Uh, before I start working on the bedroom, which is what I'm trying to work on now. Um, after like we finish this, that's what I'll be working on as my project. I wanted to start working on the bedroom, but I wanted the floors to be sanded and polished before I work on the bedroom. But now I'm like, we have this door coming down and all that so I'm like so the problem is I can't get started on this door yet I would have loved to put up the door first and then now do the whole sanding polishing thing all of it in one go because yesterday we worked on the um, the floor of the kitchen which looks good it's like drying so it's just cement and then I'm going to paint it and paint a pattern on the floor so that I can also show you how to paint ugly floors as a project you see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking ahead, I'm thinking ahead. So I'm going to show you how we can paint like uh, concrete cement and all that, like some concrete floors to have like a pretty looking pattern and all that. So um, the fundi is up there. Wow, again. And we are sealing. So we had to remove the old cement because the time I, I called some guys to come do roof repairs. Like, let me tell you, some fundis, some fundis. So I contract this guy for the job to do the roof repairs and he charges me for the job and says okay this is how much it's going to cost you this and this. I say cool when are we doing this he said let's do it on a certain day. Only for him to send other people he didn't show up. So he sent like two young dudes who came and they did a really shoddy job because what they did is like they patched up they didn't remove the old cement that was cracked again with the sun come on sun so they didn't patch up they patched up in terms of they didn't remove the old cement they just went in with their new cement on top of cracked cement so of course the crack will just continue because you haven't put you haven't addressed the issue you have to remove the cracked bit because it's loose so as it's drying it just so the part that was raining was in the bedroom the on top of the like a section in the bedroom which is like where they converge where the kifuniko is and it's because it was so obvious even when you stood here you could literally see the cracks and the water like it rains and the water just because the crack is just there and it's the crack in the cement 
so the bedroom and then there was like uh, a tile that like the bedroom that section the living room one section um again another crack and the bathroom one section with another crack but it wasn't like a terrain that was like ah it was like just drip 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 um we're fixing that because that's it and then there was one tile that was broken uh but we have the other tiles um so we want to see we had we saw some tiles after the cleaning we saw some tiles that had some tushimos so we want to replace those ones as well and then the roof will be completely done and i can move on with my life away from roof things like i can move on to other projects now you know fly with the stars sound free party all day every weekend make it boom boom to the beat make it boom 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 fly with the stars sound free party all day every week Cause I don't wanna waste my time, no I'm young and dumb and old plays right But I'm bound to turn out alright, yeah The city's really not my vibe now So I'm moving out my parents' house, yeah To go and live another life Where my dreams don't lay down and die I'll hang out with the folks on screen I'll be chilling in a pot of gold You should bet your money on me Cause I'm never So I got this black putty. Mm, doesn't smell that great. Let me show it to you. So, because the beauty is, since it's black, when I put it on the windows and the windows are getting painted black on the outside, it kind of gives it a nice finished look that doesn't require me to repaint those edges. So they had used very weird looking putty. I have to, so I'm replacing those ones as well. Like I'm removing some of it and then replacing it with a bit of this one. That way, also, I create like a seamless, balanced look on the windows. Also, the thing is, this stuff works way better when you're using your hands, like to warm it up and mix it and make it easy to move. so i came up with a way to do this which is put putty in my hand and then i use a, a scraper so i basically just take a potion and then oh wait i have to brush this <laughs> Don't do it on dusty surfaces. And then just push it in. Minimal waste. I know the wall looks overexposed. It's on purpose because we are not competing. I'm sorry. I finished doing the putty on the windows. Actually, no, that's a lie. I didn't finish. The putty that I had ran out and it's only a, a small portion that's left. So I'm going to finish up on that like um, maybe tomorrow. I'll just ask for more. And then I started painting the fuchsia boat. So I've, put, I've painted one but it looks really really good it looks so much better the thing is i have to kind of scrub 
um, underneath the tiles because the you know that what's that thing called the moldy stuff that had grown that we had like on the roof it's also like underneath where like the water falls um, I was not playing with paint it's because I I touched well a brush was falling and I saved it so I'm a savior that's why my hand looks like that but right now I want to paint the the window and the wall that are to the side of the house on the side of the kitchen so basically the walls of the pantry and the kitchen but on the outside i had wanted to remove the window there but then i changed my mind i was like because if i remove it then that means we wouldn't have a window on that side of the house so i was just like no I'm, I'm gonna leave it that way we have one window on this side of the house and one window on this other side of the house uh, and then the other one window oh, window door and another window on that side and then this other side uh, will have the main door and this window and the bedroom window so yeah that's what I'm currently working on at the moment so let's go Man, I, I really wish we could even get started on the fencing because the one thing that I think I really wanted to have was that fence and the and the gate. That way, like now when I come, I know when I'm here, I know there's like you know only one way in, one way out. But we'll see. You never know. A lot can happen between now and Saturday, you know. So. We finished with the roof. Now we'll just wait for it to dry and then wait for the rain and confirm that uh, the nini, the sections rem removed are the right ones. Because also the thing with this roof is when you're inside and when you're outside, it's, it's a bit different. It's, it's a lot. Because uh, like me when I was like, it's raining in the middle of the bedroom. So I was like, the middle of the bedroom. So when I'm outside, I'm like, so there. But when you're inside, the middle of the bedroom is not the center of the roof on the outside if that makes any sense so yeah um i want to finish i'm cleaning up the walls i'm going around with like one more nini of paints one more roll of paint um on the walls that ended up getting dirty the ones that had been painted some of them got dirty from cleaning the roof because that water was falling on those bits so i'm just going in with a roller just doing one pass on the wall and that's good <sighs> Gosh, I there's a lot that I want to do, but where's the money? Where is the money? Uh, it's okay. We will manage. We will figure something out. We've gotten this far with no money. <laughs> We've done all this. <laughs> with barely anything. So trust me, we will get where we need to get. Okay? So... I need to nini the window. I measured it yesterday. I need to start to go find out how much that costs. Because then I would want this window to at least be working. Um, if this one, if the kitchen window to be working, if the dining window will be closed up, right? Because the windows on the dining window have to go to the guest bedroom. Which, because it's raining in there and all, because I'd rather have this. Because if I have something that I can open and close, here i'll still have the lighting without the pressure but i would love to have my doors <sighs> so <laughs> if you want to sponsor my doors please do <laughs> if someone wants to buy me a tank yo i was trying to convince my dad to buy me a water tank and then my reason was because i helped him pick out a tank for their place <laughs> lord so i think i'll just i'll get even if it's like a small one just 
um, to hold me over and then I'll buy a big one eventually. So for now, we are moving how we can, where we can. So I am going to love you and leave you and encourage you. This is the part where I encourage you to help me out and be a part of this project by one, um, giving in kind where you can share this video with as many people as you can share it on your platforms uh, be it instagram stories be it your whatsapp be it twitter um leave a comment down below because that signals to youtube that you love the content and then they're like okay maybe more people will like it so that's important it's called engagement and then you can also give it a thumbs up because again you are indicating that you took the time not only did you watch you also engaged with the video and um also if you want to support me via money you can send me a link of something on my till number which is always left in the description box and maybe i should actually say it out loud which is five six two three five four five so that's five six two three five four five anything you would want to send my way is very welcome i really do appreciate all the encouraging messages and you guys watching and cheering me on as I do this because I will not lie to you. Like right now, I am so tired and so sleepy. But I know I, I can only go shower and edit this video before I decide to sleep. And even with editing, I don't know if I'll be able to start immediately or if I have to wait until the laptop is available. So there's, again, a lot. But I'm really, really pushing myself in making sure that this content is consistently getting to you and consistently being done so yeah i can't wait to rest so thank you thank you so much for spending your time here for showing me love um by sharing content encouraging me and you know being here watching i will see you guys in the next video do not forget that we are doing bts videos um other random things like a video just went up today about me spending one night in this house so if you want to see how that was i even lit a fire if you want to see how that was all that content is on just doing life again i'm, I'm like really pushing myself to post this content because i'm doing about four videos a week so that's two on this channel and two on the other so it means a lot when you support me so thank you so 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 much i will see you guys in the next video do not forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet I know sometimes people need an extra push um so here is your extra push subscribe that's that's the push thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye